I'd love to be able to tell people what I didn't know 12 years ago. David O'Donoghue in the Mullinan County Mead. We're on Tillage Farm, it's the father's farm. We work alongside the father, the uncle and the brothers. We all tillage 10 years ago, got a couple of entitlements through the National Reserve and went out and rented a bit of land and now up to about 200 acres of crops myself, mostly winter crops, wheat and barley. Just got involved then about five years ago in baling straw for selling to people just off the fields and then got involved in selling it for mushroom compost. Yeah, so currently farming 200 acres of tillage, mostly winter barley and uh, only 60 acres of winter wheat. The plant would probably grow that if land becomes available. Getting land is not that simple, but um, we'll keep pushing. If something comes up, we take it. And uh, going to grow the straw business probably alongside keeping it moving, it's good. It's, um, it works in our system, gives us work all year round. We go out, we buy the straw on the flat off farmers, off the tillage farms around here and we bale it. And then we gather it, rick it up into ricks and we sell it then over the 12 months of the year. So then it goes up to the composters, they turn, it takes them 30 days to turn it into compost. And then we, they sell on to the mushroom growers. So the contracting side of things, we do contracting for other farmers. It's steady, yeah, it's nice work, it's grand. It's tough work, but it's part of the, the gig we're in. It helps to have all the machinery. The machinery is expensive, so it's spreading the, the workload across the whole thing. So We are involved in growing hay for some horse people, mostly mostly going to cattle men. It's just another thing that keeps us moving in June, July, before the straw starts off. The second year of was the crops and machinery production. That was that was a good course. It's only, it's, you've done placement, which was a big help. I went to Wexford and actually was a real eye-opener onto a tillage farm and the stuff you learned, he just let you add everything. You were doing stuff you wouldn't be doing at home because at home, people don't see. You're always the young fella when you're starting off, but down there you're put into every job and I couldn't, I think the biggest thing actually in the Nuba thing is get experience. So like an apprenticeship for a carpenter is four years. So in farming, you should probably do as much as you can to see if you really want to get involved. I'd love to be able to tell people what I didn't know 12 years ago, as in say, it isn't easy doing this, but there's probably no better job when it is going right. Uh, my view would be to guide people along. Don't be afraid if something goes wrong once, maybe try it again. But then if it keeps going wrong, don't keep repeating. At the minute, if you were to go out on your own and start from fresh, it'd be very hard. You'd probably want to look at organics to be bringing something new to the market. We can see this year, like we've shed a barley still. So we're now, we can't move because the maize is coming in. So times are changing. You have to be ready to adapt. But be able to bring a product to the table. Farming now has gone very much, if you can get from the field to the fork, you're, you're winning.